Hey there peoples, how's it going? I'm doing an unboxing today. I've just got the Ava Media LGX Life Gamer Extreme uh, capture card. Uh, and it's supposed to have ultra low latency. It can capture 1080p, 60 frames per second, uncompressed video. It's got an audio mix in. It supports picture in picture and live editing. Live editing sounds crazy. So I guess you can, uh, you know, cut, cut it up while you're recording, maybe while you're waiting for a game to load, I'm not exactly sure how it works. So I thought I'd do an unboxing and show you how to set it up. I've got an Elgato 60 HD capture card and I've been having a few problems here and there with that one. So I thought I'd try out this one and see how they compare. So first of all I will unbox this one, check it out, hook it up and later I'll do a video comparing the two cards. So let's see what you get. Some other features are you can stream by LGX with ultra low latency, also has high capacity third party software such as XSplit, OBS and etc. Also you can enjoy gameplay in the same TV with HDMI pass through. Um, and it's supposed to use a lot less um, computer power than the Elgato, so that's one thing I'm hoping will work. Another thing is I've bought some really good HDMI cables and also uh, USB 3 cable so hopefully that helps it run a bit better and I'm going to try them both with my Elgato to see if it helps my El Elgato but anyway let's see let's check out the inside of this thing and what do you get inside the box well here's the actual capture card and it's got this cool thing where you can actually change the picture in the top of it so let's take off the top so yeah, you get different designs and cards that you can put in the top here. I don't know how useful that is, but if you want your capture card to look cool, you can take this little frame off. Ooh, bugger. And you can uh, change the picture inside here. So I'll stick the uh, frame back on. Don't know if you really need the uh, frame, probably if anything's going to make it a bit hotter. So as you can see, it's got the HDMI in, HDMI out, so you plug your Xbox or PlayStation or whatever into this side, and then that side goes into your TV. You've got your USB um, 3 cable that goes to your computer. Now I'm not sure what this one is yet, but I'll figure it out shortly. Also another thing is it's got a microphone jack and a audio in so you can plug in your own mic or plug in your iPod with tunes to get some background music so that's something the Elgato doesn't have so that's the capture card what else do you get get a little LED info chart tells you what the different lights mean and when the disk is full don't know how it knows but it must check your computer and it's got different coloured lights for whether you're recording or streaming or for when it's ready. Alright, it's got a little XSplit Broadcaster uh, gift certificate. That'll probably give you like a free month or something on XSplit. Oh, you actually get three months uh, with this little card that comes inside. XSplit's supposed to be one of the best uh, sh uh, stream programs, so I'll check that out later. And inside here it looks like you get a bunch of cables. So you get an extra screw. I'm not sure what that's for. Maybe if a screw falls out. Oh, this must go in that port that I didn't know. It looks like you can plug in all kinds of audio cables. I have to check out that. Uh, you get here's the USB 3 cable. It's quite a short one. I've bought a longer uh, USB 3 extension cable so it can go all the way to my PC. But I might even hook it up to my laptop because it's not supposed to use as much hardware. Uh, you get a HDMI cable. This is a little audio extension cable. So you can plug it into your iPod or your computer I guess. And this is the... I'm not sure what this one is either. Better check out the instructions. Here's the instruction quick guide. 
tells you how to hook it all up. Don't know if you can see that that well. We get another card here. This one's all in Chinese, so I'm not sure what that one says. Uh, you know, here's your warranty card. Uh, info packet. Just tells you things about the warranty and limitations of liability and a bunch of other stuff. And that's all you get. So let's check out how to set it up. Okay, so the instructions come in a number of different languages. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, then maybe your language is in here. Okay, so those cables that you get is a USB 3 cable, a component cable, PS3 cable. Oh, that's that cable in there that I didn't know, that plugs directly into your PS3. HDMI cable and a 3.5 millimeter cable. So first you've got to install the software to fully enjoy your Live Extreme Gamer download. So you don't get a disc with the software, you have to actually download from the site. And you can record and broadcast your gameplay of live, design and print stylish covers for your Live Gamer Extreme. So you have to print out different pictures to put in the top if you want different ones. They probably have them at their website. And uh, so yeah, let's hook it up. Okay, well I've got all my cables set up from my Elgato, but I'll uh, quickly start hooking it up now and show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm all ready to set it up. I've got my HDMI cable. This is coming directly out of my Xbox One, and I've got to plug that in to the HDMI in, which goes in this one to the left when you're looking at it front on. So this uh, HDMI cable is going to my TV. So you plug that in the HDMI out here. All right, so we've got both the HDMI set up. And just uh, comparatively wise, this is the Elgato uh, 6 HD60. And this unit is quite a, a fair bit larger. But it's kind of good because this one, uh, you can knock around and slide around. This one looks like it's a bit more stable and it's got some rubber grips on the bottom so it doesn't slide around as quite as much. So next I'm going to plug in my USB 3 cable and like I said it doesn't look like it's that long so you might need a USB 3 extension cable. Hopefully that doesn't uh, slow down the latency or, or stuff up the picture in any way. So this just goes into the USB 3 port here. And this other port here I think is mainly if you want to plug a PS3 directly into it. So I'm just going to plug this into my computer and then I'm going to download the software and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so I've just gone to the website that they told me to which is qavermedia.com slash recentral2 and now I've got to pick which card I've got, which is this one, Live Gamer Extreme GC550. Okay, select your product series. Gaming, education, PC, TV, connectivity. So I want gaming, capture and stream, select your product, which I did so. Okay, so if you do uh, go to the download page, make sure you get the driver and software download. Uh, I just got the driver at first and I couldn't get it working, so here I go, finally installing the software. Okay, so it's finally installed, let's check it out. Alright, so we've finally got the uh, main page of the ReCentral 3 capture program, and this window is showing my Xbox, and I'll quickly sign in. And it seems like the there is a lot less lag than the Elgato. And here we go, so let's try out Rocket League. So we've got full screen there, we can change the scene so we can have a picture in picture. Oh, Rocket League update, wicked. <laughs> Alright, so I'm trying out Happy Dungeons, um, and you can, change, you can change to picture in picture, so up here you can have your camera. Or you can have a oh you can have your camera here and your logo here I think yeah so you can chuck in a picture up here so yeah there's a picture up here we can chuck a camera on here 
my camera Hey, how's it going people? So there's the camera showing you how the camera works. Damn, I didn't realise it was going to be on camera. Um, so yeah, I'm really happy with this card so far. Sorry if my camera's been a bit blurry, but hopefully you get the general idea of what you can do with this capture card. So anyway, stay tuned for my com comparison video and catch you later, peeps. Bye.